Going back to the lilac chaser, the first illusion we looked at, this got me thinking about the rose windows in churches, chapels and cathedrals and how there could be something far greater happening here. These stained glass windows are often now depicting saints and holy figures. But this glass would have once been just made of various types of crystal that could enhance the light photonics that came from the sun. When we are looking at these illusions, they are 2D. So they are interacting with our brain. So they are definitely an illusion. The illusion isn't creating particles, but the neurons of our brains are making us see whatever illusion we are seeing. But the light through this stained glass would contain photons and the instrument playing within the sacred sites would interact with our brains and this would most definitely create some very interesting effects. Were these photonic illusions creating waveforms and combined on the energy points in these sacred centers, letting us access another level to reality. Optical illusions have been around for thousands of years, but there seems to be a reformatting that happened in the 1800s. It was done with stage show magic, but then became stereoscopes, and then to present day, which has become film and media. 